hey, hey, hey. All right, y'all. I'm Vanessa. Welcome to my channel. Um, I just wanted to check in today. All right, so we're at 30 weeks. Prego like a mug, and I'm loving it all day, every day. Hunty. This week has been... <laughs> this week has been everything traumatizing about this pregnancy that I really just did not want. I'm coming off of, and I'm, I'm saying it, I'm, I'm speaking it into existence. I'm coming off of a low. I have been so sad, so depressed, so just all in all of the negative feelings. Like it has just been a ride. And as I was thinking about, you know, everything that's happened since the first of the month, it, it just doesn't seem to be getting any better. So going forward for next week, I have decided I am really going to try my best to make a change. Like I cannot keep doing this because I'm telling you, I've been crying. I just been just dealing. All right. So let's back back. Let's start back from the beginning. And I'm going to tell you guys, look, I want to tell y'all about that too. Cause it hurts. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I can't help but laugh about it. Okay, so from the beginning, the first of this month, and I made a video about it. Please go back and watch that video. So, oh, she'll be here in like seven minutes. So this video is going to end. Okay, well, that's all right. Um, what was I saying? Starting out this month, I initially was like, okay, it's a new month. You know, I'm, I'm going to try my best to do all of the things that I'm supposed to be doing, living my best life, right? So month seven for me, starting my pregnancy, month seven will be July. So July 1st, I was like, let's go to the hospital get a checkup, do all of the things that I'm supposed to be doing, living, you know, like the, the prenatal mama is supposed to be living, right? Went to the hospital. That was like one of the worst experiences in my whole entire life. I mean, dealing with lies and, and police, like <laughs> it was just way too much. Now, y'all have to understand, I got a lot going on. So in addition to agoraphobia, just just wanting to be here at home, you know, depression, anxiety, definitely that social anxiety and um, just everything that I've been going through, like that experience really took me out. <laughs> no, it didn't take me out. It almost took me out. Like I was on the, the I was low. I was really, really low. I don't even know how to explain it any other way, but I was low. I was feeling so disheartened and so depressed. And it's just like going to the hospital, you would think that's a place where you can be safe and you can feel like, okay, you know, someone here is getting paid for my best interest. So they're actually going to do things in my best interest, honey. But all of that is basically resolved now. I mean, come to find out there was only like a three day, excuse me, window of anything that could be enforced by the hospital through the police department or whatever. So now that we're out of that and I'm back more feeling like myself, that's what I'm going to say. Now that I'm more feeling like myself, I'm trying to see if I could maybe make an appointment somewhere else, maybe at a different hospital. And of course, not sharing any information with the hospital, like just check the baby, leave me alone. Let me go on about my business because my trust is like gone now. It's, <laughs> it is like zero for medical professionals who want to practice on me. Like, um, it's zero. It is really zero. So 
getting back to that, I want to make sure that I'm doing everything that I can because I am getting so much bigger. It seems like month six to month seven, it was just like a little, little bumpity bump. And now, honey, this bump is bumping. And I can only imagine where it's going to go from here. Like I, I'm always fatigued. I'm always like under the weather, just feeling bad and, and tired and all of those things. And that was prior to becoming pregnant anyway. So I'm trying to switch that up a little bit because I don't want my baby to have any kind of issues from the symptoms that I've been feeling or by what I've been going through being pregnant, right? So I'm trying to get back on track and that's my goal for month eight because this baby could come in six weeks. This baby could come in 10 weeks. <laughs> and, you know, we don't even really know because I don't feel safe enough to go to a hospital. I don't trust anyone enough to do something like that. So it's just like, I just kind of have to stay at home and try to do the best that I can and make sure that I'm taking my vitamins and I'm trying to get my walks in and I'm not overly stressed and all of these different things. But sometimes it just don't work out that way. And I, I want that surety that everything is okay. Now, every time that I've been to the doctor, all two of them, where they've actually checked and assessed the baby, everything seemed to be perfect. Like the baby was quite big. Um, the last time that I went to the doctor, it was three pounds and some odd ounces. Um, and that was only at 28 weeks or 27 weeks, right? So, I mean, it, it to me, it seems like it's a lot bigger right now. I don't know if it's true, but it does seem like it's a lot bigger right now. Um, and then it makes me think of all of the other symptoms that can come at this end of the pregnancy that could be not so great of a thing, like the sugar glucose testing. I know I eat healthy, other than the fact of July that I have been eating like trash. I have been so overwhelmed and so sad and so everything else that Hot Pockets, we've been best friends. <laughs> Me and Hot Pockets been best friends and I cannot even tell you the last time I've had a Hot Pocket, but in July, I've had six. Guaranteed, I have had six in the month of July already. So for those of you who eat Hot Pockets all the time and you're like, girl, that's nothing, I eat six in a week, I don't do that. I, <laughs> I don't do that. I have not been the one to do that. So this is a really big change for me. I've had a lot more juice this week because Publix, they got the banging bogos. So for some reason they've had juices on sale, the juicy juice and the old orchards. And when I'm telling you, I've been sucking those things down. Now before July 1st, I've been hitting a gallon of water easy every day since July 1st that it is probably I've probably re-upped the gallon that's on the counter maybe twice so in addition to all of that juice that I'm drinking I'm really not drinking any water so that's kind of like you know that's weighing heavy on my mind like I don't know I don't know if I'm doing it right. I don't know if I'm doing it wrong. I can't even go to the doctor and check. Like, <laughs> it's just stressful. And then I'm trying to work on my car a little bit because I want to change the cabin filter and the engine filter. And it's not as easy as you think. <laughs> it might be easy for other people, but it's not that easy for me. Like, I'm... I'm I'm trying to hold it together here and I go outside and the bugs bite me. So you cannot even see this little mark. Like it is so tiny right there, but it hurts so bad. Like, I don't know if it was like an ant or a mosquito or what, but it hurts so bad. And it's like right there on that little tender meat. So we're going to get it together. We're going to get it fixed. I'm going to do the best that I can now. You see, I can't breathe. <laughs> I just been sitting here talking and I'm struggling just to breathe. 
All right, so I'm gonna come back a little bit later and we're gonna continue this conversation because I have a friend of mine coming over right now and she hasn't seen the bump yet. She lives far away. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy um, that she's coming to visit me. Whew. So I'll be back and we're gonna continue this conversation. We're gonna talk about how much weight that I have gained. Ugh. <laughs> and then we're gonna do some before and afters. Now I have been posting like on Instagram and stuff where you could see like the, the progress, 28 weeks, 27 weeks, 26 weeks. But I haven't done it for the YouTubes because I don't know, I just haven't been the been focused on YouTube. I mean, I just want to do what I want to do and stay home and live my life. <laughs> but I will be back to talk to you all soon. And we're going to catch up. We're going to we're going to talk about all of this because honey, it's a lot. We got a lot going on. I didn't I still need to catch up on like the first month and everything because I think after the pregnancy announcement, I really haven't posted anything else on YouTube. Um, so I need to go back and fix that, but did I? I don't think I have. I think I, after the pregnancy announcement, the only thing that has come up since then that I, it was an actual video that I did was explaining what happened, you know, at the hospital on July 1st, mm. but don't worry. We're going to be back. We're going to get it together. I'm going to tell you everything that's been going on. Let's sit down together, eat some food. What am I making for dinner? I don't know, but I'm going to make something good and we're going to talk about it, okay? See you soon.